is very well paid? Who is very well paid? I am. I have been doing work upon this planet for a very long time now, and what I have received for it is precious. Did I get goods or services for it? No. Though the fruition of my work will pay them richly, they cannot yet comprehend. Did I get shells or beads I could exchange for goods and services? <laughs> no. They are too commonplace now and no one would take them. Surely I did not get half a stick, notched and split, like once was used to account for the energy one added into the system that accounts for it. That is something that lasted ever so short a period of time. Most people don't even know about it. <laughs> did I get metals? Silver? Gold? Pennies? Not a tittle. Not the minutest amount of metal was given to me for this lifelong energy I have expended. Did I get printed paper? People do use this to exchange for goods and services, to account for the energy they have themselves. Added into the system that accounts for their energy added. No, no one has said, here, you have worked so hard, I owe you this. Have I received any electronic bits? A few spatters years ago, but that was because I reached out as I was faced with homelessness. Not purely given for what I do. In fact, none of these are the currencies I use. I serve as the real, keep that in quotes, name when it tells me it is under duress and it deals with its needs through my service, with my perks being that I have access to the food, etc. that it has. So what could I possibly be paid in? What currency do I use? In the many years of my work, as others grasped my aims, I have been showered with praise, thanks, appreciation, admiration, love, caring, and these, none can tax, steal, use as bribes, or pay toadies with. These are the denominations of my currency, none inherently more valuable, but some more appropriate at times than others. My work is to solve for the psychopaths who are presently in control here. It belongs to all of us, this planet, if we were born here. And it was stolen from us centuries ago through trusts and deceit. They have so indoctrinated so many that we are subject to the rule of law, which means the supremacy of the legal system. The legal system is imposed as a control mechanism, and as such, any efforts to make real change through it are doomed to fail. Yes, they give enough justice, at least in their media, to keep us believing that justice is served in that system. Creating illusions that we can win on that path. It is a system that, overall, thwarts ethics. Legally, they can come with the jab. Ethically, it violates the first of the three laws. Ethically, they cannot do so without your fully informed consent. But they can pay people to be bullies with the goods, services, metals, bills, and electronic bits. What power they have! And they owe it all to energy accounting, to money, to exchanging to survive, needed in times when human energy is scarce. This practice of accounting for our energy in the material tokens we use is now archaic, but they hide what it takes to get rid of money, because they would have no widespread power over our planet, and it would be returned to us to stand richly and sovereign upon. I offered enough for those with material means to experiment and share successes in my video, Electrogravitics, gravity control, and energy from the ether. 
Yes, I am without means. What I can do, have done, is draw up a blueprint for a foundation from which a truly free and ethical society can emerge and share it as widely as I can. It is a society that does not see our psychopaths promoted to power over us, as moneyed, governmented, legal systems do. The power of this triad draws them to do anything, ethical or unethical, to get and keep the power. And they will abuse us, so... Our power returns without them. It is a society that promotes the caring ones to take care of things, ethically solving for problems, with all foundational rights intact. It is a society in which we all live as richly as we choose, a mansion or a yurt in Mongolia, pursuing what we are most interested in. Not molded into a plug to fit somewhere in the energy accounting structure, just to survive. It is a society that promotes creativity, cooperation and caring, not conformity, competition and coldness. It is a society run on the social currencies, with the betterment ethic propounded, not the slave's creed they call an ethic to keep us working. Bettering things will earn thanks, appreciation, maybe even fame. Not the manufactured fame we see today, truly earned. It is a society that has love, not fear, at its foundation. As long as you choose to think we cannot draw away from their systems, build a better foundation and live comfortably and lovingly ever after, you will not be sharing awareness, maintaining their defense. I suggest that, whether you think we can do it or not, share what I offer here as a humble messenger. Let others think about it too, maybe discuss. Because we have an extremely radical problem on our planet, and discussing solutions is required if we will win. And radical problems require radical solutions. Accept that, please. This solution is radical and can be peaceful, depending on them. To see the Gentle One solution, check out my channel on Utoilet or my BitChute channel. Humbly, again I ask you to be a part of a solution. One in which we can bring the best for it, and not the cheapest or most profitable for some. Link, mirror, make commentary at will on all my work. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, shill for humanity. Love always. Humanity will win.